Hello everyone, this is Ryan Neese from Bold Fit, coming to you today from the beautiful fitness house in Ann Arbor, Michigan. So, a lot of things are closed down right now because of COVID-19, um, stores were kind of oddly quiet, but we are open for business and actually expect quite a few people to show up in the next couple days, next couple of weeks. So, today is an instructional video, um, maybe slightly motivational. Uh, basically, I'm going to do, go through a chest workout. My shoulders are a little stiff, so I'm gonna really need to warm up. First things first, gonna go do some bag work. And after we do that, we'll do some additional stretching and then I will show you some technique work uh, for presses, specifically dumbbell press. So, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of light bag work here. Nothing too uh, strenuous. Just trying to get ourselves warm. Um, I've received some questions why I always wear hats in my pictures. I hate being cold when I work out, particularly things that I've been injured on before. I want to be as loose as possible. So I've adopted more of a Muay Thai stance recently just because I want to integrate kicking more into my day to day. So we'll try that. Um, it's not going to be pretty. I'll warn you now. Let's do it. Nice and warm, feel a little better, but ready to move on. So let's talk about doing dumbbell presses. I'm a huge fan of dumbbells. I think a lot of that is because of the variability. I can change the angle, I can change the weight very quickly. And unlike a barbell, I don't struggle with a lot of the joint positions that sometimes cause strain on my shoulders. But there's some tricks to trade to this. Uh, number one, as quickly as possible and as safely, you have to get in position. If you don't, you will in fact waste energy on non-reps. You want to save it all for the press, not for the getting into position. So I'm to try to make myself as stable as possible. I'm going to dig my feet in hard. I'm going to dig my shoulders in hard to the bench. I'm going to squeeze my butt. Everything to improve my contact points, make me as balanced as possible. And then I can press. So let's give it a shot. First part, I'm already out of breath. That's a great sign. Get as close to the bench as you can. I actually recommend lifting them off the bench between sets. Again, it's safer and you're also wasting less energy than getting them off the ground. So, I'm getting close, I'm like a deadlift, I bring my shoulders back, take a nice deep breath, hips forward, up comes the weight. So, and again, the name of the game here is how quickly can I get the position on the bench where everything, my shoulders, my butt, and my feet are dug in hard. I don't want to be shuffling around. So, let's see if we can pull out 10 reps. Now we survived, I counted 10. I'll watch the tape a dozen times to make sure I can still count to 10. But that's how we do it. All right, we're gonna do a little experiment here. We're gonna go heavier than we normally would go. At least what I would normally go under at the end of a workout. It's a little push of our central nervous system. So, this isn't the most I've ever done. It's quite a bit off. I think the heaviest I've done recently is 110s. All time, I've done 140s. Uh, about blacked out that time. So, let's do some 95s. Same principles as I said before. Get in position quickly, safely, and with great stability. So I'm gonna dig in hard and press hard. Let's see if I can at least get a couple reps out for fun. Again, we're getting close. Make it safe. So, I probably wasted a little energy. 
I felt a little unstable on the first rep, and then I settled in. But all in all, not too displeased with what I did there. So let's move on. So I really want to zero in on some of the technique aspect of this. It's a little easier for me to show you from the side. So I'm going to do it without weight and kind of talk through it. So the first thing I'm doing after I get the weights up, I'm putting them on my knees and I'm making sure that I'm in a position where when I sit back, my head lays on the bench. That seems pretty obvious. I've seen plenty of people though with their head sticking off the bench or where their butt wasn't quite on the edge. So again, stability is the key. So I'm going to come back and as I, as I lay back, I bring the weights up alongside my chest like this. And I try to plant my feet as quickly as I can. Planting my feet allows me to get that first grip. That way I don't slide back and forth. I'm actually pushing slightly forward with my feet. So now I'm rocked up here. So I'm really stable from a north to south perspective. Next, as I rotate the weights out, I'm really digging my shoulders hard into the bench. I've actually bruised my shoulders on the back many times benching. Those have usually been the best sessions. Honestly, that just means I have a lot of feedback with the bench. And the other thing I'm doing is I'm making sure my butt is tight. So I have a little bit of arch on my back, nothing extensive, really nothing more than my normal lumbar uh, arch. So now I'm really stable, nothing you can rock back and forth or side to side, I'm just like a rock. And I can bench up, press, and really concentrate on the actual muscle groups I wanna work as opposed to trying to dance my way into a couple of reps. So that's how we uh, dumbbell press. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up the chest portion of my workout. I'm gonna do some, uh, some chain work on a barbell bench press. Um, I've already done weighted dips. And to finish up after this, I'm gonna do some, uh, some Atlas stone carries with a very, very heavy set of uh, sm uh, slam balls and then do some uh, sledgehammer work. I'm not gonna demo those. You have to come here to see those. So, Ryan signing out. Have a great weekend.